Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Color Correction and Final Cut Pro. In the last three parts of the series, I went over the three basic steps of color correcting, and today we're going to use what we learned and color correct a few demo clips. If you haven't seen the previous videos, I'll link them in the description below. If you want to follow along with me, I will also include a download link for the clips I use so you can download them, import them into Final Cut Pro, and color correct with me. So let's get started. My first clip was shot on a GoPro camera, Pro Tune On, with a flat color profile. So my image has a low dynamic range and has very muted yellowish colors. I'll select my clip, open the color board by pressing Command 6, open the video scopes with Command 7, and select the Luma waveform. My first adjustment will be exposure. In my image here, there really isn't any true blacks, maybe a little bit over here, so I'll click and drag the shadows back down until my waveform is close to zero. Next, I'll adjust my highlights so they're sitting at about 100. To balance out the image, I'll bring down my midtones back just a little bit. My next adjustment will be color. If you look at the clip, you can see it has a little bit of a yellowish tone, especially in the midtones, like the road going in right here. I'll click my midtones back drag it over to the left, and up a bit, until I'm happy with how it looks. Next, I'll select the saturation tab, bump up the global pack a bit, then increase the saturation in my shadows and highlights a little more than my midtones. This will differ based on the look you're going for. Now, let's go back to the inspector and toggle the color correction off and on, to see the progress made. Isn't it amazing how three small adjustments can make such a big difference in your image? My next clip was shot with the wrong white balance selected, so everything looks very blue. First, let's take a look at the exposure. It's pretty decent. I could stretch out the dynamic range a bit by dropping the shadows and bringing up the highlights a bit, but it was pretty good to start with. Next, I'll adjust the color, and in this case, this will be my major adjustment. Because the wrong setting was used on the camera, it's safe to say the shadows, midtones, and highlights will all have a blue tone so I'll use a global puck. When adjusting color, I always try to find a color neutral area like the ground in the bottom of my image. I'll drag my global puck over to blue and down to adjusted until I have an equal amount of red, blue and green in the waveforms. Next, from a saturation, I'll bump it up just a bit to make it more vibrant. So here's my before and my after image. Huge difference with a few small adjustments. And lastly, I just want to quickly take a look at an overexposed image. You can see the sky on the left side of the image is overexposed and all detail is lost. If you look at the waveform, you can see a flat line where the image is overexposed. This is referred to as blown out whites. If I go to the exposure controls and bring down the highlights pack, I can darken it, but I'm not getting any detail back. There really isn't much you can do to fix an overexposed image, especially in the highlights. This is why it's very important to keep an eye on your camera settings when shooting video. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Also, check out my new website, lptguide.com, linked in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.